June colours with the yellow sleeves, white armlets and cap. Kudlik Verona is the first to head down towards the one mile start. So we move further back along the back straight. Larger ponies, increased distance, generally older riders, James being 15 years of age, followed out by another 15 year old, Michael Trenier aboard Tarka, who's in uh, green colours with red sleeves and green armlets, nose banded as well. That is number eight, Tarka. Followed across the course by uh, number six, Regimental Bay for Hamish Clark. Hamish is 14 years of age. He wears blue and white colours. On number six, Regimental Bay, who also wears a noseband. Once again, uh, Richard Johnson, Nick Schofield and Bryony Frost will be answering questions outside of the weighing room. That's everybody from the Family Fun Day congregation. If you'd like to uh, come along outside the weighing room and uh, ask all those questions that you were longing to ask. Number four is Indian River in the beige colours with a green hoop, armlets and a maroon cap worn by Luca Morgan. Luca is uh, 15 years of age. And just following Luca across the race course, we have the uh, pale blue colours of Blazon Days. Slight colour change to your race car. Pale blue with the grey epaulets worn by Aaron Butterfield, who at 12 years of age is the longest rider in this uh, particular category, the horse with a white face. Colour change as well for number one, Buddy's Girl, who now wears red with a white triple diamond and a black cap. Tambi Welch, who's 13 years of age, is on number one, Buddy's Girl. Number three is Hawksfield Flyer for Fergus Gillard in the uh, pink colours with the blue sash armlets. And then PTO, you heard beforehand from Connor Brace in the black colours with the red cross belts, red armlets and a white cap for number five, PTO. Eight runners then heading down towards the start for our Charles Owen Pony Race, which is due off at one uh, twenty. And yes, just a further reminder, if you are part of the Family Fun Day, your chance to go and ask some of our leading jockeys some of those uh, burning questions. And champion-elect Richard Johnson is amongst that panel with Nick Schofield as well. That's in front of the weighing room currently. In the meantime, the runners for our second pony race, which is due off at 1.20, are making their way down to the start.
They're just waiting for the clock to tick round to 20 past one. Runners are all down at the start without a mishap, and they've been circling on the infield for a moment or two. So preparation's now underway, I think, to uh, call them out. Starters just climb the steps. And uh, the runner's beginning to uh, file out onto the race course then for this uh, second Charles Owen pony race for 148 centimetres and under ponies. Starting point right about midway down the back straight this time. Indian River leading them out for Luca Morgan. They initially will move away from the tapes and in a procedure that you'll see replicated by our fully-fledged jockeys Later on, they will swing right-handed and then approach the starter. The starter will raise his flag to signal that he's happy to approach. Indeed, I think he's just done that now. So that will act as the sign for the riders to take the turn and move back towards the starter. You won't want, you're not allowed to go at any more than a trot, which is pretty difficult for these uh, ponies, and I think that's going to be a full start. It is. So the starting procedures replicate those of the senior riders, and these days it means you're not allowed to approach the start at any more than trot and a couple of them notably blazing days for Aaron Butterfield were just a little bit too keen there so they'll be gathered together once again and gradually turn back to face the starter for a second time and they're off and racing a little bit slow away was PTO for Connor Brace. Uh, out there early, we have Indian River circling the field for Luca Morgan to go to the front in the beige jacket, just ahead of Hawksfield Flyer for Fergus Gillard in the pink. Colour change, red and white of Buddy's Girl for Tamby Welch. Chases the leaders in company with Blaze and Days for Aaron Butterfield. It's a pretty solid pace in these conditions, with fifth place going to Regimental Bay and Hamish Clark, who's on the inside of Tarka and Michael Trenier. Early on, Kudlik Verona. Uh, towards the back for James Bowen and last of all PTO held on to by Connor Brace so they're exiting the back straight with the lead with Indian River about three lengths clear Indian River for Luca Morgan leading Hawksfield Flyer and Fergus Gillard Blazon Days being pushed along in fourth place now for Aaron Butterfield has been passed by Buddy's Girl Kudlik Verona is making a little bit of ground the yellow sleeve jacket on the outside under James Bowen of Regimental Bay and Hamish Clark Tarka has dropped towards the rear of the field as PTO is another who's beginning to make a little bit of progress both Kudlik Verona and PTO being ridden quietly here as the leader Indian River has a three length advantage over Hawksfield Flyer as they make their way up the home straight third place then for Buddy's Girl and Kudlik Verona and PTO both gradually working their way through the field now. Blazing Days is under pressure as Indian River still leads uh, for Luca Morgan as they make their way with two and a half furlongs to travel. Hawksfield, Flyer and Fergus Gillard. PTO and a very competent ride from Connor Brace is working into contention. Likewise Kudlik Verona and James Bowen. They've both ridden patient races but are now beginning to try and throw down challenges but Indian River is still out in front for Luca Morgan and shows the way. Kudlik Verona coming there strong between horses then Hawksfield Flyer behind these PTO now with a bit of work to do and then Buddy's Girl inside the final 150 yards and it's Kudlik Verona given an accomplished ride here by James Bowen who's come from well off the pace and will win comfortably going away it's Kudlik Verona who'll win the second pony race for promising James Bowen very close indeed for second between Farside Hawksfield Flyer and Fergus Gillard and PTO for Connor Brace fourth place Indian River Luca Morgan ahead of uh, Buddy's Girl for Tamby Welch the last trio home Home Regimental Bay for Hamish Clark, Blazon Days, Aaron Butterfield, and Tarka for Michael Trenier. First, number seven, Kudlik Verona. Second, number three. Third, number five. The fourth place, Tors, number four. The full result of Pony Race 2. First, number seven, Kudlik Verona. Second, number three, Hawksville Flyer. Third, number five, PTO. The fourth place horse, number four, Indian River. The distances were six lengths and ahead. Six lengths and ahead.